hopefully you've not been struggling with this situation as long as I was. I was having a lot of weird stuff going on with my voice meter banana, OBS studio, and my stream deck. I was having echoes. I was having it capturing things twice. It was all sorts of stuff going on. And it was just this one simple choice that I was making that was causing it. So if you're experiencing any of that, or if you just want to know how to get your voice meter banana, OBS studio, and your stream deck set up great and perfect as far as how to get them to speak to each other the right way, what selections to make in OBS, what selections to make in the stream deck. Watch this video, this will get you right every single time. And if you need a full video on how to get your voice meter banana set up, I have videos on that as well that strictly talk about just the setup of voice meter banana. This is just how to get these bad boys to work together and harmonize instead of fighting each other because this was ridiculous. But let's get straight to it. All right, so I've tried to record this video multiple, multiple times, but it was either coming out wrong or it was entirely way too long. So inside of your voice meter banana, the whole situation that you want to do, you want to set up everything to be where they should be. So if you want to have your stream deck audio working properly and coming through your OBS or coming into the voice meter banana, there's a certain way you have to set it up or it's either gonna echo or it's just not gonna come out right. So with that being said, I'm going to try to explain this in the most uncomplicated way that I can possibly think of. So if we open up the situation as far as the stream deck, and then we come over to this page where I have my sounds, you see that inside of here, if I click a sound on the stream deck, you didn't hear it come through. So you didn't see it come through on any of these. If I click a different one, you still don't see it come through on any of these. And what that is doing is it's not going to push it out unless you tell it to put it out certain area. So when I hit the button, we see that it shows in here. So I can hear it through a one, but the only way that Others can hear it as if I push it through a certain spot. So if I stop talking and I put it through the same spot that my mic is on, B1, so I stop talking. And we see it comes through my mic. So if you have everything set up correctly as far as your voice meter banana and your OBS and your stream deck and also your party chat situation or wherever you do your team speak stuff, um, you can have them hear your sounds. So as we saw, just simply put it on the same track as where your microphone is outputting to. But you might not wanna do that. So I'm gonna choose B2. If I choose B2, anything that I have coming through B2 is gonna come through that section. So if I hit it again, we see now it's coming through here. So. You might be wondering, well, how do I get it to come through there? You name this a specific thing. So in your actual settings on OBS, you cannot come into audio and select desktop because it's only going to give you the input options. So right here it says aux input, voice meter input. What that is saying is that anything that's inputted into this will come through. So that's not what you want. You want the output from this. I know it sounds kind of confusing, but B1 and B2 are their own situations. They are an output. And the only way you can see that is by choosing a microphone situation. So right here, I have one of my microphones set to this, and that's the B1 section. So as far as B1 is concerned, it is this one right here, the one that says voice meter output. So if you select this other one, voice meter aux, that is your B2. So what I did, I simply right clicked here, or you can just hit add a new source. You wanna go to audio input. So once you go to audio input, don't click audio output. It'll make you think you should click that, but you should not. Audio input. And as you can see, Xbox Live PC for OBS. So if I chose this, it'll let me just do the exact same choices. So once it pops up, it'll pop up and let you select which one. So keep in mind, if you want things to come through the B2 section, you have to click voice meter aux output, 
VB Audio, you can match the rest, but it's the same thing. And then if you want it to come through B1, you simply choose the voice meter output. Like right now, if I select this, it's gonna start coming through both without me even going the voice meter. So watch this. So as soon as I click this, now it's coming through both. It's stacking the bad boys. And then the moment I unselect it, it's gone. So with that being said, also in your settings for your Windows 10, you wanna make sure things are correctly set up. So all of my output is going to the voice meter aux. But then if I want a specific application to go somewhere, I just simply scroll down and then I go to the volume mixer for certain apps and I choose it to go where I want it. So if I'm watching a movie, I'll make sure I'm selecting this instead of the aux because I might wanna be listening to this by myself and not have it go anywhere else. But anything that is over here, inputting into here, and then you select these different things, then it's gonna start coming through this. And you might not wanna have that going through your stream or your video. So I just leave mine selected as the default is this. And then whenever I want to have a certain app, I change it based on the app by clicking volume mixer. And then once you click this, it will show you the apps that's making noise. So in here, even with the stream deck, I have it set to default because I have everything set up correctly. I don't need to really be doing this. And then if I had something open like a web browser, I'd probably just have that bad boy coming through instead of the situation that I have selected, I'd have it coming through the original one that only I can hear. So it will just come through the VAIO situation right there. As far as your input, I selected my microphone so that any random applications I open up will just pull this microphone and work perfectly fine. You don't have to do that if you don't want to. Like I said, you can select the output for the VB or you can choose the output for the VAIO. So this is the first one. This is B1. So if I select this one, you shouldn't see me monitoring down here no more. So I'm gonna select this right here and I'm not monitoring through that anymore. But if I select this, you see I am, because like we said, that's that B1. And I hate to be repeating it so much, but it's slick complicated until you just trick your brain to think of it in the opposite direction, but not the opposite direction. I don't, I don't know. And even if you want to, you can also select in your stream deck, you can select where you want certain things to go. So if you have it set up correctly, you don't have to do this. So if I put this to default, hit a button, it's still gonna work because I made it, you know, go to the exact spots it's supposed to. But if you want to, you can choose other options where it goes. So you can choose other stuff. I clicked the wrong button. So as you can see, I clicked that bad boy, it's not coming through. It's not going through my mic either. It's just gonna be going into my headphone situation. As you can see headphones. If I go through the speaker situation, it'll play through my laptop. If I come through and hit this one right here, it's not gonna come through. So I gotta come back. If I hit this one, the aux, that's how I got it set up. It'll come through the aux. So you can either put it on default and have it set up correct, or you can tell it where to go for each sound. So I already got that selected on each sound. And don't forget you can turn these bad boys up and down as well in here. You can turn them up and down, you can name them whatever you wanna name them and have them all perfectly, delectably delicious. So I feel like this is the quickest way I've been able to explain this this whole time. These videos was long. I don't redid this video like six times over the past couple of days, I'm not gonna lie to you. But I feel like with this one, I really dialed in how I wanted to explain it. And I don't think I left nothing out. This is not a video on how to get your voice meter banana set up. So if you need a setup video, you can either check on the channel or go to the links in the description. Honestly, I need to make a playlist for Voice Meter Banana so newcomers or people that just want to get their stuff a little bit more optimized can just go binge those videos. Don't forget, please watch them ads. Do not skip them ads. You got to at least watch 35 seconds of an ad for it to count as far as helping out the creator. That's tough. And now they're showing two ads. So if one ad is long, the first one, they, they making you stick through that one. And then the next one, you at least got to watch 35 to 40 seconds for it, you know, to, to benefit the creator. That's how you can say thanks to me. Slam on that like button. 
and letting them ads play. I'm going to just be real with you. I'm going to be real with you. And watch some other videos. Share these bad boys out to people that need some of this, these tips and tricks. It's really not a tip and trick. This is just really how to just set up OBS with your voice meter and your stream deck situations. So, so with that being said, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.